I hear the ducks rumbling. See, there's the duck house over there. We got to get in the duck house there and see how many eggs there are. Maybe today's a good opportunity for me to give you the lowdown on our ducks. We have khaki Campbell ducks. Maybe it's a nice day since I can't get a lot of other projects done for me to get inside the duck house and really give you a close-up shot of the male and female ducks. Remember to click that subscribe button, hit that like. Thanks very much for watching, appreciate you. Hope you enjoy our videos. And uh, here's looking for another great day at the farm. Oh no, they're blocking the door. They destroyed the, the bale. I see an egg, folks. I see one egg, guys, right there. One. See that? One egg? Is that it? Just one egg? Yesterday there was four. Molly, stop eating the duck poop. Hey, stop eating the duck poop. There's one. Got it. Ooh, this one's so clean. Why is it so clean? Hey, you're not going out there. Molly, no. Let's go. What are you doing? Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. These khaki Campbells, they're very, very good egg layers. Sometimes they can be better than, than chickens, like the leghorn. Leghorn chickens are like, they lay the most eggs of all chickens, I guess. But these ducks can lay just as much as any of those leghorn chickens. Maybe 260 to 280 eggs per year. They're very, very winter hardy, much more winter hardy than chickens. Chickens don't really like the snow. These ducks, they'll go out in the snow, no problem. They've been laying eggs inside the cubbies. I mean, they also lay eggs outside. Sometimes they just whoop, drop it wherever they feel like it. And sometimes they're laying it in those little nesting areas that I made for them. I don't know what anybody says, but ducks are crazy, but they're awesome. They make me laugh pretty much every day. And so far, my experience raising ducks has been an incredible experience. I'm loving it, you know, it's a lot of work. It's, I consider it more like fun type work though. It's like, you know, I enjoy it. Molly really wants to get in. I, I locked the door though so that she can't get in because I wanted to talk to you guys really about these khaki Campbell ducks. Okay guys, let's go take a look at these ducks and I'll show you the differences between the girls and the boys. You can see all of my ducks. I have khaki Campbell ducks. Khaki Campbell ducks, folks. And they're a really good egg laying duck very very winter hardy very easy to take care of i love these ducks I'm getting a lot of questions lately about uh, how do i know the difference between males and females males are called drakes and the females are hens and uh, there they are right there i can tell the difference pretty well immediately um, but i'm going to go through a little bit in this video amongst all of our other farm chore stuff and i'm going to show you some uh, some differences so you'll know whenever you're watching my videos anyways, you'll know which ones are which. So, let's go, follow me. Wrangling a duck is probably the hardest part because today I'm a duck wrangler. <laughs> got one, I got one. You gotta be quick with these suckers. Hey, I grabbed a female. Look at this beautiful girl. She is a female khaki Campbell. You can see she's quacking. Drakes don't quack. Well, there's a quack. Maybe she's a little bit nervous because I'm grabbing her and holding her up to a big lens. But, uh, you know, let me see. Here you go, kid. Here, quack. Quack for the guys. Quack. Anyways, this is a female, and you can see that her, 
her head pretty much transitions down to the feathers. I'm talking about colorings, okay? Colorings are one of the ways you can tell the difference between the drakes and the hens. She's got kind of just a darkish brownish head. It transitions very good into these feathers. The feathers are so plumy. They're so plumy, they're so fluffy. It's amazing. Look at her chest. It's just like a light khaki brown, you know? They got claws, folks. They got claws, so you gotta watch out. Well, I gotta watch out. You don't gotta watch out. Look at their tail. You see the tail? You see the colorings? Beautiful. Look at that. Look at this girl. Hey, stop scratching me. I'm trying to show you the YouTube. Notice the colorings on the beak. You see her beak is kind of dark brown, blackish color. It's not, uh, the drakes have a little bit of a different colored beak too. Well, she's a little bit calmer right now. And look at all those other ducks in the background there. They're just sitting there waiting for their turn. Ducks don't have any teeth, eh? They just have these little, little ridges. There's no way for me to, for me to get you a close up of their ridges. Anyways, maybe on this angle you can see them better. I'll try to get a close up for you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Ow! See, they're sharp ridges. They're good for biting into all the seeds and the, the food and stuff. Maybe she realizes now I'm not going to hurt her. Oh. Take note of the quack. Okay, we'll talk about that a bit later. Take note of the quack. The sound they make is different too, so we'll get into that later. There, she's going now. You see that? Oh, as soon as she's in front of the camera, she stops. Yeah, as soon as she goes in front of the camera, she stops. Hey, I got one. They hit my camera a little bit, but I got one. This is one of my dudes. This is one of my dudes. Look at that head. Look at that head. Look at that yellow, yellow greeny beak. He's so gorgeous. You gotta have the right kind of daylight to see the colorings on the head, but it's like a dark brownish greeny color. And you can see it's very distinctive, very distinctive that um, it's, it's like it's cut off right here. It's like they're wearing a, 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 a hood or something. Another thing that's different is the chest. You see the chest is not as khaki brown. It's a little bit more whitey. And you notice this guy, he's not making a sound. You know why? Because drakes don't quack, okay? They don't quack. They kind of grunt, you know? You guys remember Tim Allen, Tim the Tool Man Taylor in Home Improvement? Huh? <laughs> Drakes are kind of like, huh, huh, huh. And they just kind of, it's a very raspy sound. And there's usually one of the alpha drakes, you know, when, when someone's coming around, even I'm somewhere on the farm, you'll just hear, Wah! because the ducks are notifying the rest of the flock that there's somebody coming. Man, look at the ridges on this drake. You guys can't see it. I wish I could get you a shot. You see those ridges under there? Oh, man. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm so proud of my ducks, guys. A lot of hard work. So, you'll notice, also, drakes are bigger. So, they are a little bit bigger. It's probably, I don't know, two, three pounds more than, maybe not two, three pounds. Maybe a couple pounds more than the, the females. And the drakes have a sexy tail. Oh! A sexy tail. 
I just got hit right in the face with the wing. Ow, the claws. Ow, ow. Oh, this guy's a squirmy little bugger. He just hit me on my eyeball with the wing tip. Anyways, I'm just about to show you the sexy tail because this is the best part about the drakes. You see that sexy tail, guys? You see that sexy tail? Look at that curly tail. You see that curly tail? That's the sexy tail. That's when he gets his groove on with the ladies, trying to showcase his plumage so that all the other ladies will get attracted to him. He's not even making a sound, eh? Look at this guy. Right now, I obviously have too many drakes. We've already harvested three drakes. Um, when we bought our 20 ducks as ducklings, there was a 10-10 split, 50-50. So really for the amount of hens that I have only 10 I only want to keep two drakes but it's a little bit too cold to harvest any right now so I'm just giving them a good life yeah there's too many of them over there but uh, I do see them mounting the other birds they actually when when ducks mate they do it in the water and then the females usually just having a bath, minding her own business. And then the male comes along, uh, 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 does his thing. And I mean, gets off. And they're usually nibbling on the neck. So honestly, I feel like if there's too many drakes, they're all going to be mounting all those hens. And the hens are going to get too roughed up. Because it's nature. That's just what happens. See that guy fly? They can probably fly. I don't know if they can really take off flying, but when I let them go next year into the orchard here, I'm going to have to trim their wings a little bit because I don't really want them getting enough momentum and enough height to, to really take off and fly away. Look how they just go around and around, guys. You know, they, they follow the leader. They follow the alpha. Whoever go, Whenever the alpha goes, the others go. And if you pay close attention to the sounds that they make, you can uh, distinguish very clearly the difference between quack, 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 and <laughs> Anybody out there thinking about getting some, some ducks, you have to always remember, you don't want to just have one duck. They are flock animals. They like to be in groups. They always follow the male alpha duck, you know, they follow the leader. If one duck goes in, they're all going to go in. That's all I have to say about the males and females, guys, drakes and hens. Now you know all the tricks to tell the difference. This is all stuff I've learned in the past six months of me raising these ducks. And as soon as I open up that one little door for them to go inside, you'll see one of them's going to go and they're all going to follow because they're flock animals. They stick together. So enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to get into some of my farm chores. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Very important to us. Help us out. Hit that subscribe. Follow our story. And we'll really appreciate it. Thanks. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.